<laughs> yeah, we have a PTL sneak peek today. People have been talking about it for months and after yeah. a slight delay, the event of the season is finally here. We are talking about the immersive Van Gogh exhibit here in Pittsburgh. The date was pushed back originally scheduled to begin in late September. Instead, the doors open tomorrow, but you are going inside today. Yeah, Mikey Hood is at the Lighthouse Art Space on the north side, surrounded by breathtaking visuals. So, Mikey, tell us what this is like to be there. Oh, Heather, David, I have to tell you, I am blown away this morning. We are giving you a PTL first look at the immersive Van Gogh exhibit. And I have to tell you, this is unlike anything that I've ever seen before. Now, this location, it's been a secret for a very long time. We are at the lighthouse on the north side. The cat is out of the bag, and I can't wait to show you all of this. So Diana Raisman, she is the co-producer here. Diana, this exhibit, it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. I'm used to walking in and seeing like paintings mm -hmm. hanging on a wall in an art exhibit. This is a lot different. It is. This is really a kind of a fusion of art, storytelling, and spectacle. And it's meant to take the audience on an emotional journey through the life and work of Van Gogh. So you are not a passive viewer of art. You are immersed in the art and you really become part of the experience. Yeah. And this experience is full of lights and sound. Yeah, so we have over 70 projectors in this space. Um, that's 90 million um, pixels and 50, uh, 500,000 cubic feet of projection. So it is completely surrounding you and um, it's it's a much different experience than going to a traditional art gallery. Yeah, it sure is. And, I, and this is really like the story of his life. And I'm just from being here for, you know, a few minutes this morning, I've learned a lot so far. Yeah, so the creator of the show is a gentleman by the name of Massimiliano. Sicardi. He's based in Italy. And this is really his tribute to uh, Van Gogh. And it's meant to take you through um, it, the, the full sort of um, story of his life. But um, it's not always bright and colorful. There are dark moments and it's really an emotional ride. Yes. Yeah, speaking of, let's walk a little bit closer here to the wall. Um, I'm noticing that there's a lot of yellow. Does, does yellow symbolize anything here? Well, Van Gogh, um, in the later parts of his life, um, painted with bright colors, which is um, really interesting because it was um, probably the darkest moments of his life and um, in his struggle with mental health. Um, yet the, the work is really vibrant and bright. And so it's a really interesting juxtaposition of what was happening in his life. Um, and he obviously loved sunflowers, and sunflowers are a big part of this exhibit. Oh, and it's just so beautiful. And I'm wondering, so we're at the lighthouse art space here. I mean, how long did it take you guys to transform this? Because this is like a warehouse. Yes, it took quite a while, especially given um, current uh, uh, delays and um, supply shortages um, after COVID. So um, it was a long time in the making and um, we're so happy to be here. Uh, we love Pittsburgh and uh, we're so excited to, to share this with the public. Yeah, well, speaking of Pittsburgh, Heather and David, uh, the Van Gogh exhibit, they pay homage to the city of Pittsburgh so I can't wait to show you that I'm going to step outside in the lounge space and they have a really some really cool pieces out there so when you come back I'm going to show you those but isn't this cool like I feel like I mean we really are getting a first look here because the exhibit doesn't open until tomorrow you know Mikey I wanted to come and I, I, I hope to get there right but seeing just this little glimpse of it it really does draw you in don't you want to see more oh I think it's fascinating because you're walking into yeah. you feel like you're part of one of his paintings. Mikey, Amazing. thank you so much. We look forward to it. And what a good, we call that a tease when she said that Pittsburgh come. is being honored and she's going to tell us about that coming up. So yeah, she is going to join us a little bit later on. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, but before we want to just remind you the immersive Van Gogh exhibit runs until February 6th. Tickets are going fast, so make sure to get them now. Yeah, and for more information, go to our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com. We have a link for you there.